Hello and welcome to Your Starts. I'm Nigel Souza, and with me is Sumera Abadi. Well, Sumera, it's a, a good day for the Nifty. We're up another 45 points odd. Last three trading sessions, we have been winning. And as of uh, now, at least, it appears that that uh, winning streak, at least, is likely mm -hmm. to continue for the fourth straight session. Building on, so that's good news. Remember, 10,860, that's a crucial technical level that we're looking at. That's, in fact, where we have uh, the crucial technical resistance level. And also, in terms of the fall, that'll mark nearly a 55% retracement of that fall of around 480 points odd that we had seen in the previous eight trading sessions, also, Mera. Hi, Nigel. Good afternoon to you as well. So let's um, kick off the show with our top stories. Frontline indices trade higher on positive global cues, backed by Infosys, ICICI and HDFC Bank. Nifty Sensex near the day's high, mid-cap index in line. And Adani Port shares nosedive after the company acquires an agri-logistics group company at a premium for nearly around 1,000 crores. City downgrades the stock to neutral, says the deal raises questions on capital allocation policy. GST rate on premium housing cut to 5% and affordable housing to 1% without input tax credit. Access cap expects inventory woes to ease as the bulk remains in the under construction stage. And shares of Motilal Oswal and IFL holding sulk after SEBI declares their commodity arms not fit and proper. IFL's Nirmal Jain says that legal opinion is being sought to appeal against the order, sees no impact on other businesses of the group. All right, with that, let's get started on your stocks. Gaurang Shah and Bakash Gaba join in to answer all the stock-related queries. So, gentlemen, good afternoon to both of you. Our first query comes in from Mrs. Veera G, who's written to us from Hyderabad. She holds 600 shares of NCC, which she has bought at 90 rupees. She's a short-term investor and wants to know what the future holds. Uh, Prakash, uh, it's uh, crystal ball gazing time for a short-term investor. NCC, how do the charts look for somebody who's losing money? Um, do they remain invested? Somebody is losing money, first thing is to put a stop to protect some more loss. 81 is a stop one could have and continue holding it. Who knows where it goes? But 90 to 100 is a possibility. So far, looks like the low that we have seen is a good low to work with. Okay, all right. Uh, then um, let's get uh, Gorang's view also uh, as well uh, in terms of NCC. Well, she's asking for a short term view, uh, Gorang, but. Uh, could give us a little bit of a longer view. What's the view on NCC? So, uh, thanks and good afternoon to all of you all, Nigel. First of all, I think it's very important for short to medium term investors, identify sectors which can give you that kind of return. Yeah. If you buy a construction infrastructure company from a short term point of view, I don't think it's going to be a win-win situation, to be okay. very frank. We do have positive coverage with a 18 to 24 months plus time horizon. And I think uh, targets could be anywhere close to about 115 to 130. Okay, 115 to 130. Uh, Rupees in case you look at a longer time frame, then that's the view that's coming in from Gaurav. Moving on, then we have Nidhi Raj who calls us from Big Ludu with a query. I think he holds investments in Raymond. Hi, Nidhi Raj. Yeah, sir. Hi, how can we help you? What's your query? I believe you have uh, bought Raymond at a price that's higher than what it is today. Actually, I bought Raymond at around 820. Okay. Quantity is 300 quantities. All right. Yes. I have to hold or I want to. All right, Nidhiraj, uh, you're a long-term investor, is it? No, short-term investor. You're a short-term investor, but, uh, yeah. you know, we, we'll give you both the views. Um, in terms, we'll give you a six-month view and we'll give you a longer-term view. Accordingly, you can take your call on the stock. Let's get you a fundamental view first. Gaurang, so that's Gaurang, uh, tell us, Raymond, do you track it? Uh, triggers we've been hearing for the last few years, land monetization, selling of non-core business, core business. Um, at around 750 rupees odd, do you believe uh, that, uh, you know, Nidhi Raj can get the buy price of around 820 odd? Uh, give us your take and or you believe that should switch out of Raymond into something else? No, I think you invest because you want something more than the buy price. Yeah, that's true. So, from a long-term point of view, Nigel, we do have a positive coverage, point okay. number one. Point number two, yes, there are certain initiatives that are taken by the management in terms of changing the business model and, of course, uh, getting rid of unviable businesses, land parcels, etc. Yes. And more importantly, I think the recent products with the linen range has definitely found some more traction in the market as far as the consumers are concerned. So, mm. we remain positive, subject to, of course, changing your time horizon. And if you do get a dip, 
closer to 700, 725, you can even average. Oh, can average. All right. And what kind of a price target uh, should they be? So we should be possibly looking at 950, 985. 950. All right. Okay. Okay. Just close to actually what it was uh, around this time a year back. I think Feb, March is when we saw these levels of thousand plus Prakash and Raymond. Do uh, you see a comeback from that level? I think so. Because I see a good lower somewhere closer to 600, then went up again a second lower at 675. Looks like this low could hold. Only thing is, once it crosses 900, I think it's going to around 1000, 1050 zone. So I have a positive view, a slightly longer term perspective. Short term, yes, I think it's good. Just continue holding it. We could see some resistance closer to 860, 870 zone. Okay, Nidhi Raj, that's the advice for you. Uh, if you can remain invested for the longer term, you could see uh, not just your buy price, but a bit more as well. Up next, uh, we have Sumant uh, Kolasani, who's on the line with us from Hyderabad. Hi, Sumant. Good afternoon. What's your question? Hello. Yeah, hello. I bought uh, 200 stocks of India Bull Real Estate at 151 rupees a share uh, around 10 months back. Mm -hmm. I just want to know what is your uh, one-year perspective on the stock? Okay, uh, Prakash, first to you on this, uh, uh, you know, over the next one, I mean, he's already losing money, right? Now, over yes. the next one year, uh, is there a chance at a recovery? I mean, forget profit, just a recovery or should he exit now? Difficult to say, but the only thing is trade, it's basically structure is weak, it has no business to call. But the you know, first thing he needs to do is protect himself and he can put a stop below 66 and continue holding it in case he wants to hold. I think there's a stiff resistance closer to around 80 to 85, it's difficult going up. Provided, I think I'll prefer it. <laughs> I, no, no go words. On, go ahead. No words. <laughs> no words. <laughs> no words. <laughs> so I do agree with Prakash that upside is limited somewhere. But the problem is we don't cover uh, this company from the fundamental mm -hmm. side. And when you buy it at 150 and the price is 75, you're down almost 50%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe on rallies, if you want to make a switch, then I would recommend Shoba Limited. And I think whatever has happened over the weekend for the real estate sector yeah. does sound good. Okay, all right. So switch is what uh, Gaurang's uh, talking about. Uh, then uh, if you want to stick in the real estate space, then you could switch over to Shoba developers. By the way, uh, from the broader markets, quite a few stocks doing well. Sugar seems to be doing well. Sri Renuka Industries, that stock was holding high with a gain of 78%. Uh, percent. Now that's up close to around 10%. Percent. Remember, it's only around 11 rupees stock. But it's not just Sri Renuka. If you're looking at Balrampur Chini as well, that stock has moved higher as well in the last few minutes. So I think we should get a couple of these stocks up for you on the screen. Uh, very, very shortly. And the markets on the whole as well have moved uh, to the high point of the day. So good going as we speak. We are moving towards the 10,850 odd mark. And that's a very, very crucial resistance level. Remember, in terms of technical levels uh, that we're looking at today, um, the, the 100 DMA comes in at around uh, 10,680. So on the downside, that's the level we're looking at. But the 200 DMA comes in at 10,861. That's only around 15 points away from current level. So keep an eye out, 10,861. That's a crucial mark on the Nifty. Well, we'll slip in a short break, come back. We'll continue answering all your queries. Stay with us.